the Nintendo Switch has come in a ton of variations of special editions over the years. This ranges from including a certain game to exclusive Joy-Cons and unique designs on the system and dock. However, the best limited edition variation by far is the newly released Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch. Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome to Time on Gaming. The Nintendo Switch is three years old, and in this video, I'm going to unbox and review the Animal Crossing Switch, and also discuss whether or not it's even worth buying a Switch in 2020. Starting with the Joy-Con, these are the most unique iterations of Joy-Con that we've seen. They are a very light pastel mint green and baby blue, but on the back they have a sand color that matches the dock. This two-tone approach has never been done before. At first I wasn't a fan of the two-tone look, but it's already grown on me. Regarding the texture of these, they are the same soft touch matte as the Neon Joy-Con, which is honestly surprising and sort of disappointing. If you didn't know, all the Neon Joy-Con have a soft touch matte finish. All the plain solid colors like the Mario Red, Pokemon Yellow and Brown, and the Left Blue are a semi-gloss. This semi-gloss texture is actually more resistant to wear, so I wish these Joy-Con would have adopted that texture. It would have also been awesome if the back had a different texture than the front, but unfortunately it's all the same. I would have loved to see Nintendo bring this sandpaper-like rough texture of the Labo Joy-Con to this system, as that would have matched perfectly with the sand color Joy-Con backs. Despite these wishes, the Joy-Con on this Animal Crossing Switch are still the most unique we've seen in any special edition. The color is also lighter than the images online show, and I just wish I could bite into them. I absolutely love these Joy-Con. They also come with the most unique wrist straps. The rail part is the same light tan sand color, but the straps themselves have a little pattern on them that looks really cute. These little patterns get me excited about all the possibilities of making custom patterns in New Horizons. The straps also match the color of the Joy-Con, which is a great touch. Overall, these Joy-Con are beautiful, and I hope Nintendo releases them separately, but with the opposite colors, so we can have a full mint green and full baby blue Switch. Now, as I said, the back of these Joy-Con match the Switch dock which brings us to the most unique Switch dock we've gotten so far. Other Switch docks have had simple designs like the Pokemon and the Dragon Quest bundles. Well, on the New Horizons edition, the dock is a completely different color and doesn't even have the logo on the front. They really went all out with this dock and it's adorable. The front features Tom Nook with Timmy and Tommy on a little island surrounded by water. The rest of the dock is a light sandpaper tan color. It's the same texture as a regular dock, which is a semi-rough plastic. The water and island designs are a smooth paint on top of this rougher plastic. As you can see on the inside, there are certain parts that remain black. This includes the connectors, pads at the bottom, and the pads that attempt to protect the screen. Instead of having a giant logo on the front, it's been moved to the top, which looks really nice. This dock is so beautiful, and I hope we start seeing more fully redesigned special edition docks. Now that we know Nintendo's willing to go this far, the possibilities are endless on what they could do on future special edition systems. Moving on, we have the back of the Switch tablet, which is the last unique part of this Animal Crossing Switch. We have seen similar designs with the Pokemon, Diablo, Dragon Quest, and Disney limited editions. However, like everything else with this New Horizons Switch, they took it to the next level. Instead of having several big patches of glossy raised designs on the back, there are hundreds of little detailed designs. You can see water, grass, rocks, trees, flowers, fences, weeds, sticks, seashells, fishes, a shark, whale, hammock, fire, coral, tents, a boat, a house, snow, mushrooms, a butterfly, a message in a bottle, and more. There are so many little details on the back which we haven't gotten with any other variation. I do wish they would have made some of these designs colorful though. 
In the reveal trailer, they introduced the back with colored animations. That little pop of color would have made this design look even better. But still, it's a fantastic back design and overall, this is the best special edition Switch. It's also the cheapest at $299. If you're wondering, these are the only changes. The Charger, HDMI, and Joy-Con grip are all exactly the same. However, this is the new V2 Switch model, so it has almost twice the battery of the original Switch. If you have the original Switch and are thinking of upgrading, I say do it. The other day, I sold a used original Switch on OfferUp for $250. I had it listed for $240 and the guy offered to pay me $10 more for me to deliver. That just shows you that you can upgrade for very little money. $50 is absolutely worth the extra battery life and the beautiful new designs. Switch Pro rumors have died out with Nintendo denying any new Switch models coming this year. And even if they do drop a more expensive Switch Pro, you could upgrade for free because this limited edition will climb in value after its release. People are actually already selling it for more than $100 over retail price. However, retail stores have gotten lots of extras in. If you call around, you might be able to get one still. They will also likely restock the system by March 20th when Animal Crossing New Horizons releases. My GameStop got about 25 or 30 extras, and I went in the night before to finalize my purchase and picked it up at 9 p.m. Don't trust the online stock systems for stores like GameStop and Best Buy. They won't even scan them into their systems because they know they'll be selling them quick. In other countries, the bundle isn't releasing until March 20th, so you guys still got some time to secure one. And if you can't find one, do not pay scalpers. There's bound to be a restock within the next week. The Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing New Horizons Edition is the best special variant that we've gotten in the past three years. But do you know what else makes this special edition even better than any previous one? It does not include the game, at least in America that is. This is an amazing change. Now there are people who are upset about it, but that is ridiculous. Not including the game is better for everyone. It makes the system cheaper, it's a lower price of entry for new owners, collectors, and everyone in between. But most importantly, it allows the consumer to choose how they want to buy the game. Nintendo transitioned to including digital copies with system bundles years ago. For physical buyers, that sucks. But this gives you the freedom to buy the game how you want, where you want, and when you want. You can even save money. Walmart has new games $10 off on launch day, so you can save money that way, or you can wait for a used copy. You could also choose to preload it digitally, or buy it brand new on Amazon. There's also the option to buy it at Target, Best Buy, or GameStop, and get an exclusive bonus item, like a bell bag, poster, tote bag, or journal. The freedom of the $2.99 special edition system with no game is how it should always be going forward. The Nintendo Switch in 2020 is still completely worth buying, and the Animal Crossing Switch is the best special edition so far. If you have the original Switch or you're a collector, new buyer, or you love Animal Crossing, I highly recommend buying this system before it's out of stock forever. And if you like Animal Crossing or Nintendo Switch, consider subscribing. I'll have more Animal Crossing content coming soon, including accessory videos and live streams where we can play together. I'll even be giving away an Animal Crossing Switch system later this year because I did pick up an extra one. But now I want to hear from you. Are you excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons? Are you going to pick up this limited edition Switch? Let me know your take in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.